Yes guys, David here with another BTEC. This one's sponsored by Direct Mobiles. Go and check out the best mobile deals at directmobiles.co.uk. A little while back we did our own concept renders of the follow-up of the Nokia 9 PureView. Admittedly, information was quite thin on the ground back then, but we recently have had a few more rumors about the elusive Nokia flagship. Thanks to respected concept designers and leakers, let's go digital. If these renders and specs are accurate, then I think Nokia are onto a winner with this one. They've gone back to an old school design that really does resemble the Nokia N95, but in a form that we would expect from a 2020 flagship phone. It's rumored to have a 6.3 inch, 120 hertz OLED display with QHD plus resolution, hopefully with a nice tall aspect ratio. The 20 by nine ratio is hitting the sweet spot for me at the moment. This display will also have its biometric scanner embedded underneath. We should also see a Snapdragon 865 chipset with up to eight gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, which will be expandable as well, hopefully up to about one terabyte. But it's in this area that I really hope that they don't try to cut back. I would really like to see the UFS 3.0 storage standard being used here. Ideally, I'd like it to have the DDR5 RAM chips as well. I really do believe that these complicated multi-lens smartphones do need to have fast storage to deliver a good user experience. The previous Nokia 9 PureView would take five pictures simultaneously and then spend what seemed like ages processing those images. This device is rumored to continue with the Pentalens setup that was introduced with the original Nokia 9 PureView, but here we also have some more similarities with the much loved Nokia Lumia 1020, which was the first really high megapixel smartphone. The main sensor could be a 108 megapixel unit. It is also thought to have a secondary 64 megapixel sensor and feature ultra wide telephoto and macro lenses, all of which will be covered by Zeiss Optics. If this is all true, then the new Nokia flagship could be one of the best camera systems that we will see in 2020. However, its most exciting feature might not be on the rear camera system, but on the front. There have been rumors for a while now that the first company to bring in the in-display camera technology will be Nokia. And the latest reports double down in this rumor and even go further to say that it might be a 32 megapixel unit. This will give us a nice uninterrupted display, free of any mechanical camera as well. And hopefully Nokia won't decide to ruin it and put their logo on the chin as they've done with their most recent release, the 8.3. Either way, it is a really interesting device that in my opinion might even be able to put Nokia back on the map. This device has got that cool retro look. I love the way the corners are quite squared off as well, a bit like the Note series phones. I think that if this device ever does see the light of day, then this color option is a must. It really will be interesting to see what Nokia do with this 108 megapixel sensor. Quite embarrassingly for Samsung, who are the ones who produce the sensor, Xiaomi have seemed to have made it work better in their smartphone than in Samsung's own Galaxy S20 Ultra. Not only did the S20 Ultra rank much lower in the DxO Mark smartphone camera ratings than the Xiaomi device, but users are also reporting bugs and problems with the focusing system. If this Nokia uses the same sensors as these phones, then obviously these are going to be the benchmarks that it will be held against. So they've got their work cut out. But I think if Nokia can play their cards right and actually deliver this phone below £1,000, it will get a lot of attention. Which, to be honest, does seem quite unlikely considering that it is carrying a Snapdragon 865, the very latest 108 and 64 megapixel sensors, not to mention the 120 hertz OLED display. But I don't think it's impossible. Room we have packed most of this into the X50 Pro 5G for 750 quid. So that's a Snapdragon 865, a 90 hertz display, and a 64 megapixel quad camera system. Admittedly, it's not clear whether or not Realme are actually making a profit selling these phones at this price, but maybe that's the type of strategy that Nokia need in the short term to win back their following. This is a company that used to be the premier smartphone brand. If they really can produce this phone at a reasonable price, then I really think it will put them back on a lot of people's radar. I definitely will be keeping an eye on this one. If you are a Nokia fan and you're looking for your next phone, then I'd recommend you check out the Direct Mobile's website. You can compare all of the available deals with all of the different networks right there on the one website. Plus with over 24 years of award-winning customer service, you are really well looked after. Direct Mobiles are there to find you the best possible price. That link's in the description below or you can just search directmobiles.co.uk. And that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, leave me a like, leave me a comment. 
let me know if you would actually buy this phone. I've got to tell you the truth, I think I would seriously consider it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Follow me on social media. I'm David, this is BTEC.